So I'm sure you've seen a bunch of these travel videos, but you're not gonna see one like this because this one is actually gonna give you real tips when it comes to traveling. So first things first is this ProCube 2. Now it's not sponsored, but it's a really good battery charger because with the original Sony charger, it doesn't even tell you how much percentage it is and you can only charge one battery at a time. But with this one, you can put two batteries inside of it and it actually tells you the percentage of the battery. So super helpful and every battery charger should come like this, but apparently they don't. So if you want to grab one of these, there is a link in the description. Now the next one is when it comes to accommodation, it's actually very expensive to travel. Like it can cost up to a couple of hundred dollars per week. So what I like to do is say, for example, if I'm gonna go traveling to Japan, instead of paying for accommodation, I usually just like to buy a property there. So for example, there's this $3 million property that I'm probably just gonna buy because then if you buy that, you don't actually have to spend any money on accommodation once you get there. So that's always a good tip. Just buy property in the location that you're going to. Next up is when you're going to a place that doesn't speak English, like for me, I've always spoke English my whole life. For example, if you're going to Beijing, what I like to do about a week before, I like to become fluent in that language. So for example, if I were to go to Beijing the week before, I would start learning Mandarin and I would just get fluent at that within that week so that when you go there, you don't have to bother like trying to use Google Translate or all that sort of stuff. It's just easier to speak with the locals when you can uh, be fluent in their language. So I would highly recommend just becoming fluent about a week before you can do it just try hard and yeah that usually helps me when i travel coming up at number three i'm sure you've heard of all these youtubers promoting their different vpns to keep you secure whilst you're on the internet personally i never understood that and i'm probably not going to use all those discount codes that the youtubers give you so what i like to do to ensure that my internet connection is extremely safe is i just hire a private security cyber team so they just sort of hang around me 24 7 every time i'm on uh, youtube or on the internet just searching up stuff for my youtube videos you know if you've got to download assets and all that sort of stuff the private security team will always ensure that your connection is safe because a vpn i don't know you just can't trust it so security team is always the best way to go for me i'm not sure what number this is maybe four or five it doesn't really matter but next up is obviously when you're traveling you have to wait in lines to get on the aeroplane and you got to sit in an economy like economy is just too small so i like to just get a private jet wherever i go because you can skip the line you have your own space like it just makes more sense so if you're thinking about going somewhere just don't bother with normal airline just get your own private jet because it's just it's a lot more a lot more better it's a lot more better it's better and last but not least what i'd recommend is just a good old camera bag this is the one i use it's from crumpler and it just does everything i need it fits all the stuff i need in it it's drones chargers cameras a vlog setup extra lenses it's a huge bag but it can fit a lot of stuff in it so just having a nice big camera bag helps uh when you're traveling but yeah that's all for today's video if you did like any of these tips uh leave a comment in in the description in the description like edit this video log into my youtube edit it and uh comment in the description and uh yeah if you end up buying your own private jet or private property just uh let me know and that'll be great so that's all for today's video as always don't think just do coming up at number three I, i'm <laughs> fuck this is so stupid definitely going to be cheaper than getting a vpn and i'm on a bike trail and there's going to be a bike coming behind me hello hey.